Hi everyone. This is a very very easy question. This is the GMAT quantitative reasoning practice question from the topic rates, speed, distance, time, and within that, computing the average speed is the concept tested in this question. We'll solve this question and I'll leave you with a bonus question, which I've tweaked these numbers a little bit so that you can figure out how to solve that. Post your answers for the bonus question in the comment section of this video. Before we get started, have you subscribed to our channel? If so, thank you so much. If not, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Let's get started with this question. Steve traveled the first two hours of his journey at 40 miles per hour and the last three hours of his journey at 80 miles per hour. What is his average speed of travel for the entire journey? Extremely simple question. How do you compute average speed? Average speed is computed using this formula, which is total distance traveled divided by total time taken to travel this distance. So what we are going to do is we're going to set up a table where first part, second part, time taken, speed at which he has traveled. We'll find out the distances, right? So that's the first step that we're going to do. First part, traveled at 40 miles per hour for a duration of two hours. So speed into time will give us the distance. 40 times two, 80 miles is the distance traveled for the first part. Second part is 80 miles per hour, three hours. So 80 times three, 240 is the distance that is traveled. So total distance traveled is equal to 320 miles and total time taken is equal to 5 hours. Average speed for us, average speed is equal to total distance traveled, which is 320 divided by total time taken, which is equal to 5. So the average speed is equal to 64 miles per hour. Quickly look at the answer options. 64 miles per hour is choice D. So it mentioned, made a tweak to some of these numbers, I'm not given the time directly. Here is a bonus question. Steve traveled the first 40% of the total duration of his journey at 60 miles per hour and the remaining part of the journey at 80 miles per hour. In the last, the original question, we had two hours, three hours and that kind of stuff that was given to us. Here they've given it to us in terms of a percentage of the time taken. What is the average speed of travel for the entire journey is what the question is. These are the five answer options. Solve this question pretty much the same format as what we did for the original question and post your answers to the comment section of this video. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation.